Hi, I'm Eser, Bosch trainer. Impact wrench, drill driver, or maybe an impact screw driver. What do they have in common? How do they differ? And what applications are they designed for? The heroes of today's episode are Impact Wrench Model GDS18V-1050H Impact Driver and Impact Wrench in one model GDX18V-200C and our new GSR185LI Drill Driver and our most powerful drill driver in the Bi-Turbo Series model GSR18V-150C to begin with, in a nutshell, we can say that drills and screw drivers are mainly used for screw driving and unscrewing, and wrenches and impact drivers for screw driving and unscrewing. Sounds similar. However, the difference between them is huge. The basic parameters of a drill driver are speed and maximum torque, both hard and soft. It is worth paying attention to what material you will be working with because the selection of the right tool depends on this. If you have a lot of work in wood, the maximum soft torque will be important. On the other hand, if you are screwing metal screws in metal structures, for example, you will be looking off maximum hard torque. The currently available drill drivers in our range have up to 84 newton meter of soft torque and up to 100 newton meter of hard torque. We are talking about the current model GSR18V-150C. For the GSR185LI model, we have 21 newton meter of soft and 50 newton meter of hard torque respectively. Impact drivers reach a torque of 200 newton meters like the GDX18V-200C model which is presented here. While cordless impact wrenches even reach up to 1050 newton meters like our GDS18V-1050H. It is worth mentioning that in the case of screw drivers and impact wrenches, torque is equally important. And the more important thing is the breakaway torque, which is in the GDS18V-1050 model that reaches up to 1700 newton meters. In today's video, we will explain to you the differences between these three categories of power tools and show you what they have in common and what is different. By design, screw driver drills are used for screwing and drilling in wood, metal, laminate, brick, etc. Most often, with the use of bits and drills of various types. These include wood drills, spade drills, ordinary wood drills, auger drills, ordinary bits and impact bits and drills, multi-construction drills and various metal drills. The drills have a quick clamp drill chuck so we can use cylindrical drills or those with a quarter hex chuck. The models in question have metal chucks, which significantly affects the quality and life of the tool. GSB models, for example, with an impact mechanism, are used for drilling in concrete. The percussion in the drills works in accordance with the direction of drilling, so you can drill a hole in concrete faster. Drill drivers are great for screwing and unscrewing screws of various sizes and lengths. GSR185LI is a tool that will be perfect for places where we have a lot of elements to be screwed in and above all, we want to work comfortably. The GSR185LI weighs less than a kg and thanks to its compact size, will perform just as well in tight spaces as smaller screw drivers such as 12 volt. The 21 newton meter of soft torque and 50 newton meter of hard torque will work well for most everyday tasks. This model should not be missing from your kits. GDX models are innovative solution from Bosch that combines two tools in one. In other words, it is a combination of GDR and GDS. Inside the chuck, we have a quarter hex socket so we can quickly and efficiently mount a bit or a suitable drill bit in it. While on the outside, we can put a half socket in this model. What our heroes have in common is that with each of them we can screw and or unscrew something. Impact wrenches and screw drivers are mainly used for unscrewing and screwing. 
The most commonly used accessories are sockets and impact bits. Unlike drills and screw drivers, the impact mechanism in impact wrenches and screw drivers works around the circumference tightening, for example, a nut with a high torque reaching up to 1050 Nm. GDR models are tools with a quarter hex chuck for holding bits and impact drills. The first noticeable difference in the tools in question is the transmission of torque to the user. What exactly this is all about, I already explained. In the course of drilling, a situation may arise when the drill bit gets jammed. In such a situation, the drill screwdriver will try to rotate, which can be dangerous for the user and lead to injury. In the case of more advanced models like our GSR 18V-150C, in such a situation the kickback control system will be activated, which will cut the power in a fraction of a second and stop the tool to protect the user. Impact wrenches and screwdrivers are great for use in places where the tightening force of bolted parts is important, such as scaffolding, stands for outdoor events, wooden or metal structures. The GDX18V-200C model discussed today has a really wide range of applications thanks to its design. With a maximum tightening torque of 200 Nm, it can certainly cope with unscrewing or tightening smaller metal structures such as the flanges seen in the video or for example wheels on a passenger car. When the task is a little more demanding, we can always reach to the proven specialist for difficult tasks, the GDS 18V 1050H. With a tightening torque of up to 1050 Nm and a breakaway torque of 1700 Nm, this tool can handle really baked in bolts and nuts. The GSR 18V 150C has another important and innovative feature that is only available on this model. This is EAD or electronic angle detection. With this function, you can precisely determine the angle at which you want to drill or hole or screw. The available angle range is from 0 to 90 degrees. There are three icons on the tool, 45, 60 and smartphone. Under the 45 and 60 icons, we have predefined angles with specified values, while under the smartphone icon, we have an available angle that the user determines himself in the Bosch Toolbox app. Now that the tool has the selected angle programmed, as indicated by the green light on top of the tool, we can drill. The green light illuminates when the user tilts the tool by the present angle. The Bosch Toolbox app is where we can make settings for individual power tool parameters. If your cordless tool has the letter C in the model name, it means that it is equipped with the connectivity module, which allows wireless communication via Bluetooth. If you want to take full advantage of connectivity, you need to install the GCY42 communication module. This is also where we can access product information, technical data or tool operation. As you have seen, each of the tools discussed has its own purpose. However, in some cases, they can be used interchangeably. The key is to choose the right tool for the right application. Hopefully, you now know the differences. That's it for today. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. Thanks a lot.